Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on stealth strips on your long wolf climbing sticks. Normal long wolf climbing stick, just a one by one square aluminum tube. Strip it down, take it completely off. I've already done three right here just to save time. Um, one of my biggest concerns with top of using this type of equipment is uh, noise and definitely putting these on there is just not in day difference I mean I can't say enough and it's also in the new uh, strata pattern true timber uh, it's really soft to the touch uh, it's a little time consuming to do though but uh, all in all I'm very very pleased with it I think it's going to be definitely worth it because as you can tell right here just right off the bat just has a more of a thud you know natural noise than a metal to metal contact but anyways here I'm going to get ready to show you close up how I do it alright first off to say that with these long wool sticks you'll notice that you got to find the back of them and by doing so if you'll notice right here there's a larger tube this or larger hole I should say that's uh, where the sticks locked together from where the long wolf manufacturer makes them do so and be sure to remember this is the back and I've already wiped these down with alcohol to kind of get off any oil and grease or whatnot that's on them that'll help them stick to the adhesive better from the stealth strips but be sure to lay it over to where the back's on top and that's important because we're going to end up putting the edge of the stealth strip on the back through the middle of it so we're not really worried about tearing it off or coming loose in a later future. But to start off with the tools you're going to need, you're going to need you're going to need an 11 millimeter socket, a pair of scissors, a pen, Another 11 millimeter wrench, three sixteenths Allen razor knife, and that's it. But what I'm going to start off doing is I'll take the stealth strip, I'll turn it over, and remember this is the back. I'll lay it right here. Excuse me. I'll lay it right here with the back up. And I'll take it and I'll lay it right there. Dead down the half of the climbing stick. As you can see, I'm taking it and covering up just half of the holes. And what I'll, I'll end up doing. Is since I've already got it tore apart they come with these plastic washers now you'll have to remember the way you took them off that way or you can use an old one that you've already built as a reference because if not you'll end up cutting the wrong size holes for your stick on your stealth strip so what I'll end up doing is I'll take this lay it out here again Take my pen, and I'll mark it. So it'll look just like that right there and what I'll end up doing is I'll fold it over on the back side like this I can cut both of them out at the same time with a pair of scissors that's just a little tip to help speed the process up so
Now the reason for this is for your big washer and then your small washer and the reason why is because they have that there to where it pivots your tooth or your bat wing I should say will still be able to turn and twist because that's what allows it to do so. Now that I've got this end cut out, I'm going to go ahead and measure out and cut the rest of the holes for time purposes. But that's how I do it, is you just keep tracing it out like that. And when I get to the next step, I'll show you. Alright guys, now that we've got it all cut out and we're ready to put it on our long wool stick, something to take in consideration, you're going to have a big circle and then a small circle and a big circle and a small circle at the top as well. Now, if you ain't careful and you don't pay attention to your stick, then you'll end up putting it backwards, which means I'll have this end up here and this end down here. And your washers and stuff won't line up and you'll have more ex exposed metal than what you'll want. But what you'll do is you'll take the half of the stick that comes with the adhesive and peel it off. That's what it looked like. So this can be kind of tricky, but you just got to take your time with it. I try to match the ends up as best as I can. And when I lay this down through there, the edge of this steel strip, I put it dead down the half of the, the holes that are in the climbing stick. Now that I've got it here, I just run my fingers down, help it get sealed, and I'll just roll the stick real slowly. Alright, now that you've got to this point to where you're half of your steel strips on your stick, just very carefully come over here and pull the other side off now this stuff is very sticky and it'll get caught up on anything so you gotta be very careful to not get trash and stuff on it because you know it'll end up over time that weak point will cause it to start coming off what I like to do is just pull the stick back slowly and just kind of like pretty much roll it on there. Mash down on it. And that's what it'll look like at the ends. So your washer and your small washer is already cut out. And you may have to trim it just a little bit because it ain't going to line up exactly perfectly square. 
because when you roll it, you're off. You're gonna be all square a little bit when you roll it, but that'll be all right. I try to run my fingers down as much as possible, get all the air pockets out of it. But you will have to come around on the front side right here. This is the front. This is the back. So what you'll end up doing is what I like to do. I lay my stick down here. And also remember, look at the back side so you got big washer on top, small washer on bottom, and that's what I'll end up doing is I'll fill my finger right here. I'll take this pin and I'll just make a circle of where the hole is. Then I'll lay my washer just like this over the hole. And that's what it'll look like. So I'll end up taking, that's where my razor knife comes into play. Alrighty guys, there's the front, there's the back. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and finish the stick. That's pretty much just the basics of the rest of the way. You just feel where the holes are the rest of the way up the tube right here. Like right here's another one and I'll just do the same process, process over. So when I, I'm done, I'll show you. Alright guys, now that I've got all the holes already cut out on the stick, now I'll just take it, now that I'm going to assemble all the hardware on it. Well there it is guys, the finished product. Um, very pleased with it. Uh, I think it's going to make a difference, definitely. Um, even in cold weather, just with the soft touch of it, um, it's going to make it nice handling it. Um, there's several other videos out there on this, and uh, I decided to do one as well. And I'd like to give credit to uh, DIY Sportsman and a couple others. Uh, you see you can hear about Dan Infault using these and several other guys, but um, I will be putting a rope mod on this. Um, I'm not a fan of the buckle that Long Wolf comes with, but it, it's good, but I'd rather have a rope mod because it's a lot easier and quicker, but anyways, just a rundown of uh, the stealth strip. This is a uh, True Timber Strata. I think it'll blend in really well. Um, it's just a little time consuming to do this, but uh, as you can see, we've got all four of my sticks done now as well. And uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to uh, Stealth Strips. Uh, Stealth Outdoor makes these, I believe, and they also make it for not only climbing sticks, but they make it for the stands and several other different things but I'm gonna definitely be doing a lot of modifications to a lot of stuff I use with this but anyways I appreciate you watching like and subscribe